My name is Markus Bühler. I'm the McAfee Professor of Engineering at MIT. Today I'll provide a short overview of a recent paper titled Bio-inspired translation of classical music into de novo protein structures using deep learning and molecular modeling. Authored by Mario Milazzo, Grace Anderson, and Marcus Bueller. Architected biomaterials, as well as sound and music, are constructed from small building blocks that are assembled across time and length scales. In new research, we present a novel deep learning enabled integrated algorithmic workflow to merge these two concepts for radical discovery of de novo protein materials. The approach exploits musical creativity as the foundation and extrapolates through a recursive method to increase protein complexity by successively injecting protein chemistry and the deep memory of long time scales into the process. In this work, we use the language of vibrations as a concept to facilitate the establishment of a universal language to translate across domains, from music to proteins and from proteins to music, forming materials from the invisible. How does this work? Music is one of the few universal expressions that can create bridges between cultures, find associations between seemingly unrelated concepts, and that can be used as a novel way to generate bio-inspired designs that derive functions from the imaginations of the human creative mind. Earlier work has offered a pathway to convert proteins into sound and sound into proteins. Here we built on this paradigm and translate a piece of classical music into matter. We focus on Johann Sebastian Bach's Goldberg Variations, one of the most ingenious pieces of music created. Based on Bach's Goldberg Variations, we offer a series of case studies to convert the musical data created by Bach several hundred years ago, imagined by the composer at that time, into protein design and fold it into a three-dimensional structure using deep learning. These three-dimensional structures have full atomistic resolution. In other words, we know the exact position of every atom in the molecule. The quest we seek to address is to identify semblances or memories of information content in such musical creation that offers new insights into pattern relationships between very distinct manifestations of information. Using the basic local alignment search tool, or BLAST, we find that several fragments of these new protein designs display resemblance to existing protein sequences found in proteobacteria, among other organisms, especially in regions of low complexity and repetitive motifs. The resulting proteins form the basis for an iterative musical compositional approach and an evolutionary paradigm that defines a variational pathway for melodic development, complementing conventional creative or mathematical processes. Humanity has long looked to nature for inspiration for engineering designs. This paper broadens this concept of what is understood as bio-inspiration to include a broader array of systems created by humans, animals, or other natural mechanisms. Proteins are made from amino acids, where each amino acid is a building block encoded by DNA. Each amino acid has a unique tone associated with it. We can order these tones based on the frequency relationships and associate each amino acid tone with a note on a keyboard or a note in a musical score. This process is used to convert the original score created by Bach into a protein sequence. This protein sequence can then be analyzed and studied. The protein sequence can then be folded using deep learning methods into a three-dimensional architecture, a full atomistic representation of how this protein looks like. We can then simulate this protein using molecular dynamics simulation methods embedded in water in aqueous environment, as it is usually the case in natural systems, and expose it to analyses of stability. We can show that these proteins designed through this process of converting music into protein information are stable. These proteins can also be analyzed using BLAST, and we have shown that these proteins, to some degree, have semblances to proteins created by evolutionary processes. This is an important insight that shows that proteins found through evolutionary processes have similar features as proteins identified through the musical compositional process. Proteins created through the musical process, writing notes and creating compositions by Bach hundreds of years ago, have identified similar structures, similar features as proteins identified through evolution. Natural evolution has resulted in similar structures as the imagination of the creative mind. At the time when Bach wrote these musical pieces, we did not know about proteins. Yet, 
these patterns seem to be universal in nature and perhaps identify universal truths of how patterns relate in biological living systems. Perhaps music created by Bach is a reflection of the internal structure of our bodies. These structures could represent proteins or other biological molecules or DNA sequences that are present in our body. And music is a way of expressing them, mirroring them, expressing them in information such as musical notes. Evolution, on the other hand, uses another expression. The expression is materialization of information through DNA and protein synthesis. In spite of these being very different processes, they have resulted in very similar designs. This is an example for interdisciplinary research that crosses traditional boundaries. We use concepts from music, from music theory, compositional methods, and analyze existing structures in music. On the other hand, we utilize some of the latest deep learning techniques. Deep learning allows us to identify deep memories of how proteins fold. This memory stores the information that has been captured through evolutionary processes, the quantum chemistry of how molecules behave and interact through billions of years. Bringing in this information stored in evolution through deep learning into the creation of music is an entirely new way of thinking about writing music. We call this process material music. It's a way of injecting materialization of information through proteins and other biomaterials or other material systems into the creative workflow of writing musical form. Musical form is powerful. It's an abstract representation of information. This information can be combined with traditional information from bioinformatics in designing new proteins. Once we've identified a protein structure that is stable and exposed to an aqueous environment, that is water molecules, we can begin to apply different mechanical boundary conditions. For example, we can load the protein mechanically and pull it and push it and assess its mechanical stability. This allows us to treat the molecules like microscopic or nanoscopic springs and we can assess its mechanical properties as a material. This gives us important insights into how these proteins behave in an aqueous environment, how stable they are, and whether or not it's possible to unfold them under physiological conditions. Converting music into proteins is an exciting field of research that is just at its beginning. We can imagine the inter intersections that are possible now, using the human imagination and data created by humans through science and art and other creative processes, and mingling them, connecting them, amalgamating them with the kinds of information we can mine using deep learning. This provides us with an opportunity to use concepts like vibrational signatures, music, to intersect them with conventional mathematical design processes. This opens a new door for engineering design, where we're not only relying on mathematical equations for design, we're using other parts of the human creative mind as a way of beginning initiation of a design process. As we've seen in this study here, as we begin to fold the protein, and convert the protein back into music, we can manipulate the musical ideas and interact with the design in a very different way than we have been able to do previously. The resulting protein that was derived from the aria of Bach's Goldberg variation can be sonified again. This sonification results in a new variation of the aria, adding yet another type of variation to the original concept of the Goldberg variation. This new variation is called deep aria, because it reflects the deep time memory of how proteins fold intersected with the original creative idea that Bach put forward. The resulting piece features some of the original ideas by Bach, but adds significant musical complexity to it and provides a completely new experience for the listener. The resulting piece has very distinct tonal qualities, which reflect the information injected through the folding process. This information is derived from billions of years of folding of proteins through evolution. Also injected is the information about how proteins fold through the ground truth of quantum chemistry. In this sense, this composition is a new way of putting forward musical creativity, a new compositional technique where we inject physical laws, biological laws, evolutionary insights into the creative process. The piece is played by dozens of individual piano tracks, each describing a particular feature or information level of the folded protein. We added ornamentation to the piece to create a final artistic product, which is the resulting composition. Thank you very much for listening and please enjoy the deep aria in its full length.